So when I bought this old recreational canoe, I wanted to transform it into the ultimate fishing vessel. But at the time, I just didn't have thousands of dollars to spend on outfitting it. So what I'm hoping to show you here today is that you don't need thousands of dollars to get out on the water and go fishing. So please consider yourself now acquainted with the Weekend Hooker, or the Hooker for short. By the way, my name is Adam and I'm a paddlehead. This boat came to me through a friend who bought it used a while back. After a year or so decided he wanted an upgrade, so he sold it to me for 150 bucks with two paddles. That's a steal anywhere for any boat. Now, it's gonna be hard to find a boat like this for that price, but if you look hard enough, Kijiji, garage sales, your aunt and uncle's old cottage with that canoe that they swore they would paddle. You just might find a fixer upper that you can make do with. Now, before we get into the meat of this video, some people shooting in the bush, there are a couple things you're gonna need. A PFD of any kind, boating safety kit, and some paddles. Also, anchor, canoe cart, and waterproof bags are a welcome bonus, but we'll talk about those a little bit more later. Comfort is king, which is why I bought two of these stadium chairs from Crappy Tire for like 40 bucks. They just strap around the existing canoe seat, and I'll tell you, when you're in a canoe fishing all day, it's so nice to have a cushion and some back support, especially for old guys like me. These are sturdy, not that heavy, and so worth it. By the way, while you're watching this video, if at any point you think to yourself, well, this video is okay, consider subscribing. My good friend Ben and I are trying to grow this channel and your subscription and your engagement really helps. So thank you. If you plan on doing any trolling, which is a very effective way of catching fish from a canoe, by the way, uh, then you need some rod holders. I picked up these two relatively cheap rod holders off Amazon for like 30 bucks. But then I splurged on this heavy duty Scotty rod holder from uh, Crappy Tire. Uh, I think it's like 75 bucks, but it's got this clamp mount on it, which allows me to move it uh, on the boat, but also put it on other canoes. The old hooker here doesn't come with me on backcountry portage trips. She's a bit of a heifer. This is nice to put on other canoes. One of the more recent additions to the fishing canoe are these Yak Attack gear tracks. On the thwart of the canoe, just drilled it right through the wood. I picked these up from Frontenac Outfitters for like 25 bucks. These are great because it allows me to attach things like my fish finder, my phone, my camera. Uh, the accessories for these things are endless, uh, but this offers an enormous amount of flexibility for the fishing canoe. By the way, Frontenac Evitters has everything you need to get hooked up if you're looking for some premium quality gear, so it's link in the description. And last is my milk crate. This thing helps keep the boat organized and keep everything off the floor. Everything has a place. Extra rod holders, drink holders, no booze of course, tools, tackle, snacks. I'm going to do a separate video on how I organize my milk crate. If you're interested in that, I'll link it right up here. Enough for the few other things that I mentioned earlier. First, an anchor. On a breezy day like today, if you find a good spot and you want to stay there, you drop anchor, you're not going to move. If you have a good anchor, highly recommend one. Dry bags. So you could put gear in there, you could put warm clothes in there. I also love to have a dry bag, especially when I'm paddling solo on breezy days, to fill up with water and attach to the bow of the canoe. That helps to balance the weight so I can track straight and the wind isn't blowing the front of the canoe all around. It helps a lot. I learned that from Justin. I don't know where he got that from, but you guys know Justin, guy that like had a problem, needed me and Ben to get together to make a channel. And anyways, big whiner. That was his idea, or at least he showed it to me. And the last thing is a canoe cart. Now I use that thing mostly to like tow my kids from my house to the lake, um, but it, they're very useful. So if you have some distance to travel and your boat's heavy like mine, a canoe cart can come in handy. Oh, one last thing before I forget, a bow line. You need some kind of rope in case you need to tie off or if you need a rope to throw out to someone, very handy. I think you need one. There you have it, the ultimate fishing canoe to get me on these quiet backcountry lakes. It's changed a lot over the years, it's probably gonna continue to change, but I love this thing and I think you should probably go out and build your own. Thanks for tuning in, take care.